Yeah, hi everyone. Um, mm. Here we are. It's been a bit of a bits and pieces week. We've done a few, quite a few little bits around and about. Um, and I guess that's kind of the way it's going to be sometimes. I guess, you know, the, when you start building the boat, um, you've only got that you can do. When, when you start lofting, the only thing you can do is loft. But the, the more boat you get, the more little bits around and about there are to do. So you end up doing a bit here and a bit there. And, um, but certainly that's the way it has been this week. Uh, we started off, Kerry and I started off, we adapted the engine plates to, to raise it up that bit that we uh, measured up last week.
And then when that was done, I put a, put a few coats of primer on there. I'm using this uh, Oatrol primer. I should coat, paint it after that with the um, Oatrol Marine aluminium sort of pseudo galvanizing paint. So that was done. And then, perhaps Kerry, perhaps you can look in the engine room a bit there, can you? Just, um, yeah, look in there. That's good. You'll see some, some pencil marks on the floor there where, where I was experimenting different positions of the engine bed in the engine room. And the one I've settled on going for is the forwardmost one of those. So I mark that out. And then with the spirit level, you know, it's possible to, to lay that up in there, be there, wouldn't it? And measure the distance there that you need to, to trim the engine bed so that the engine bed sits in there level. So I did that and I've then trimmed up the bottom of the engine bed, at least its first rough trim.
And to cut that engine bed, I, I got inspired to buy one of these little Bosch 12 volt rechargeable, you know, cordless grinder cutter things. Comes with a few different wheels. This is the wheel for cutting plastic. Um, very nice. So, lovely little machine. Really impressed with it. It cut the, the engine bed beautifully. So it comes with a wheel for, for metal as well. And you can get another wheel for a saw blade wheel for cutting wood, which will be useful. Various other discs you can get. Great little tool. Very impressed. Um, got the lock device on there so you can you can change the wheel easily the guard you can slide around to different angles just sort of clicks around and which is very good locking button push forwards and down locks on very nice great tool i say cut that engine bed beautifully and i can see this coming into quite a lot of use and in fact you know tools are changing aren't they this would be ideal for cutting small lengths of wood, plastic, metal. Ideal as a, as a little handheld battery powered saw. It will get more use, no doubt. I painted out the lazarette. Unfortunately, I ran out of paint, but it's mainly painted. I've got a few little edges to do. The, the new paint's ordered, should be here. Maybe today, actually. Maybe I'll get it done this weekend. Then Kerry and I laid out the boards for the aft deck. And uh, we've cut those to shape, trimmed them, and I'm in the process of fiberglassing those. So, should be able to get the aft, or the first layer of the aft deck on very soon, maybe, maybe tomorrow.
yeah well i guess that's about it for this week thank you very much for watching give us a thumbs up or subscribe if you like what we do see you next week <laughs>